Okay, well, we should be getting back to either the bathhouse or Siggy Reuben or somebody. Get Junior? All right. Okay, no, we gotta go this way. Buxom lasses from the lands already taken. Eventually, we have to go back to that bookshop guy too for the Gwent. He's not actually anyone extraordinary, so we don't have to fight him. But I sort of feel like I personally have to. Ooh. The bathhouse. Anybody there? Open up. That's a very aggressive way of knocking, Geralt. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. This guy sounds a little bit weird. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You want me to strip? Happen the unit. You this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. He's very careful, isn't he? Oh, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. You decorated this whole bathhouse just so I could loot it? That's very kind of you. Oh, whoa, this is getting... Do I get a fever doing this? I feel like you're getting a lot of fan service here. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Whoa, there are other people here. Hey, Whitehead! Nice bum you have. <laughs> uh. You were right. He doesn't blush. <laughs> Oh, it's up. Uh... And Junior cut off his hand, then ordered them to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body back. Cleavers is bigger. He's hung piece. like a horse. <laughs> Clear that you've not seen Reuben's. Gudrun calls it Herberos. Herberos? <laughs> Does it loop back on itself? Uh huh. <laughs> his voice is very high. Because he's a eunuch. Easy, Cleaver. Poor son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say aye. Ah, the big four. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I feel so built next to these guys. Uh, yeah, I don't actually care about what you guys want, but you guys are the big four. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Got something to discuss with Dijkstra. I mean, Siggy Reuven. I think he can wait. Oh! Yeah, probably can. That's Dijkstra? Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller? Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Oh! <gasps> Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. 
Horasun Jr.'s people? I don't have any defenses! First ever body with my prick hanging out. Ah! Siggy Reuben is Dijkstra. Sigismund Dijkstra. Oh. What am I even attacking people with? I don't know, but it's working. I don't have any defense though, so I should be careful. These guys are wearing their little anonymous mask. I can just freaking igni these people, man. It's not a thing. <laughs> All the women are dead. All the men are dead. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Wouldn't that be too obvious <laughs> if we were together? Okay, so we have Siggy Rubin, Sigismund Dijkstra here. We have the Cleaver, and we have the third guy whose name I don't remember. And then we also have, oh, the King of Beggars, right? It's just a bunch of bald guys. I don't, I can't recognize their faces. <laughs> not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam, you know? But then, who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarf's Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Hmm. Let's be frank. Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horson's out to get us and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horson's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horson? Find me first. We gotta find the cleaver. So that we can find Horson, so that we can find Dandelion, so that we can find Siri. Okay. Hmm. I need to find Horson. Now it looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. We didn't meet him before in the games yet, so he must be talking about the books, but I don't actually remember this part. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion <laughs> could mean a miraculous recovery to me. 
Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. Think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. I'm a little bit surprised that the four guys who rule the city actually get together and stuff. I thought they would always be at war or whatever. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Well, my understanding is that they were all supposed to be here at the bathhouse, but then Horson didn't come, but instead sends a whole bunch of men to kill the three guys here. Oh. That makes it very obvious that it's him, because he's the only one not here. But he still did it. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. That's quite a background you're bringing in here. Former head of Redanian intelligence? That's not a nobody. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Okay. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. All right. And you said the the head of the Eternal Fire was gambling too. Oh, oh my God. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Maybe that's the place we've been to already. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. <laughs> Do you want to play Gwen? Hmm. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> See, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. The relationship between Philippa Eilhart and Sigismund Dijkstra... What was it again? 
Well, just judging by the conversation here, it seems like they were on the same side and Radovid didn't like that. Philippa Heilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? She's around. After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I have any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> From master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah. Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. But Radovid is okay with you being here? He's not gonna hunt you down if he finds you here? Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Oh, lovely! Come, Geralt, what you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. As far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Yeah, why are you, why are you so angry? I don't think he's, yeah, it probably has nothing to do with Dandelion. Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, <laughs> what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. <laughs> I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened to him. Ooh. All right. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Was I allowed to? Who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So... Can I count on you? Sounds like he's got some sources planted in the Nilfgaardian Empire. One thing that sort of bothers me about the Witcher series is how everybody always pronounces every name differently. There never seems to be a consensus on any of these names. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, It'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. All right. Oh, you're going to show me right now. Ooh. Be so kind as to follow me. Oh, wow. Don't draw my sword. So there might be something living down here. Something that normally I would draw my sword over, but he's telling me not to. Do you ever light these? Yeah. Oh my god, look at the map! 
Oh no, that's the dead people upstairs. Never mind. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Just turning on the lights for you. That's all. Taking your stuff. Because I can. Oh, Bart. Not again. Bart. What is that? Look at how chaotic the map is right now. Holy crap. Uh... There's definitely something alive here, isn't there? Ooh! But where is- Oh my god! Bart, stop that! Now! Bart, man! A troll! Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. But her. But less thinky. But less thinky. But sadness. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy bad take. Good Ziggy. Camel in the desert. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. Oh! But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Did Dandelion actually succeed? In his heist? Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up. And I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart job that good. How reassuring. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. <laughs> All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Oh, so silver platters and candlesticks are worth money. I knew there was a reason why I was picking them up. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Very clinical, clean job, huh? Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, oh, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. 
But look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head falls. Boom, an explosion. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know. A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Cheerful, gone. Bad, troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. <laughs> Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonce. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonce, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value me own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. That sounds kind of scary. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewer's thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it...? No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis, either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. I'm just asking, okay? You don't have to be so prickly. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Do I need it? I'm a witcher. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Digstra. Dandelion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? Yeah, I'm really glad that that was not an option. Telling him that, hey, Dandelion might be involved in this whole thing. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Oh, something from... It was blown up from inside? Hmm. The bathhouse, huh? Twelve. Count Reuben's treasure. Get Junior. The gangs of Novigrad talk to Cleaver. We got a lot of things happening here now. Mm -hmm. Earlier we had two different locations for finding Siggy Reuben, but I guess they just sort of interconnected. Oh my god, look at how many freaking herbs are here. Jeez. Okay. Oh, oh, it's gray now. What is this? Oh, finding Cleaver. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. There's a lot going on, but since we're here right now in front of the vault, I guess we should investigate this, huh? And we'll remember to read the entry for the extra later on. Oh! I gotta take the antidote? Right now? It's 
locked? Seems like I'm okay for now. Pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. We have a blue line on the map now for some reason. Shouldn't go any further without taking that antidote. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Do we have to take the antidote even if we go this way? I think so, because we can see it. Can I make the... the thing? What do you need? Bombs, decoctions... It's a potion, right? It's not a potion. An antidote is considered a what? A decoction? No. No. You know what? I should probably just make these so that they get out of the way. But if I make them, I'm not going to remember that I have them. Because I'm not going to be able to see it in this list here. <laughs> uh, where is that thing I'm trying to... Alchemy substances? What? Hey, where is the... I know we have the formula. Pop, right? It starts with P. P. I don't see it here, though. Is it crafting? It shouldn't be crafting. Yeah, that makes no sense. It's not... It's not any of these. Okay. Well, we have a few vials. We don't have to make it if we're fast, I guess. Where is it? Oh, pockets. Magic lamp. Where did you freaking give it to me? Is it under potions? Full moon. Oh my god, do I really have to look at this individually to find it? <laughs> it might not be here. In fact, I don't think it's here. Where the heck is it? Is it equipped already? Dimeridium bomb, dragon's dream. Thunderbolt, white rafford. Swallow. Here we go. Pops mold antidote. It's a potion. Right, so why did it not show up in the the thing here? Okay, well, whatever. Whatever. Can I see the, the list of stuff, please? Oh, it replaced my food. Okay. Fine grading. Couldn't push much through that. All right. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Three crowns. Oh. Oh. You heard that? Scary things happening here. Bits of pipe clear over here. Oh, okay. Must have been one powerful blast. We've gotten that already. A lot of little beasties. And a ring. Dandelion's cohorts were either clumsy or in a big hurry. Emerald ring. Necrophage. Drowners. Of course. Yup. It is a sewers after all. No better place to find drowners. Ow. It's rare that we get this much of a close-up on Drowner faces. Y'all good? I want to eat some food. But now that slot is preoccupied with not food. Superior Draconid Oil. Oh, unexpectedly, we found some good stuff here. Anyway, though, we were gonna follow the current. Nothing here? Just mushrooms. Oh. Another trinket. Theoretically, if we follow the trinkets, we can find where they went, right? I'm not sure how far that would go. Ooh! The thug Dijkstra hired. Oh, okay. The guy who started barfing in the middle of nowhere? Oh.
Back over here. Oh! Hello. Can you not come over here? Okay, well then, just chill out for a little bit. I need to look at that trinket! Oh, come on. Getting close. Oh. Damn. Ow! Ow! Hey. No double teaming. Actually looking a little bit dangerous for me, huh? No loot? Okay. I wanted to come back here to look at this. Yet another shiny bubble. They just kept dropping everything as they were going all over the place. Where is this? This is... What? Where are we now? In the sewers? Looks a little bit too fancy to be regular sewers. Because what is this? There's wooden walls and everything? Oh. Oh. Whoa. Stairs are broken. We're finding stuff here, but is this related to where the people went? If they were carrying a whole bunch of stuff, I don't imagine that they would be able to go up the stairs that are broken. That's locked. Alright. No, I think we have to follow the current. Mm hmm maybe this is something else. Oh, sorry. Well, alright. Alright. Back down we go. This way. Any more trinkets? Oh. There is one more. Hmm, bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. <laughs> Smells like... Wyvern oil. And... <laughs> Caramel? Gold coin. That'd be it down here. Ah! Time to see Dijkstra. Dang it. What were you gonna say about the gold coin, Geralt? Oh, So they escaped here. But that's all we know. Okay. Not much to go off of. We found a lot of trinkets, but that's from the treasure they stole, not any personal artifacts that would help us identify who actually did it. Even though we have a very strong suspicion that we... we know, we partially know who is responsible for this. Who would have helped them out though? Man. Okay, we're back here. Oh. This way? Hello, Bart. Hey, Bart. Got a minute? Minute? Bart, no minute, Scott. Bart rock, Scott. Rocks want? Not right now. I mean a minute to talk. You mean? But nice. One more time. <laughs> Can we talk? Siggy you like. Talk me with. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Different. Something not normal. Something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Yeah, yeah. But here, uh, like uh, a piece, hiss. The bomb, maybe? The hissing before the explosion. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No, a piece other. Not animal all that. Right, so like what? Like... Uh... Rock? A hissing rock. Mm-hmm. It does kind of sound like a bomb. The hissing. Where did it come from? But... His here... In love tree. What? Where... Where... But... Oh. Turdy dump. Lavatory. <laughs> he must have heard Dijkstra say that word before. Alright. 
Let's change the subject. Good. But time God. Jorfon go. But God now nothing. What is Chorfin? He keeps saying that. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here. Not much to do. When but not much do. But think. Lots. <laughs> We should bring him to the other guy, the guy that was building the, the fence for the boats. Do trolls speak their own language? Like, are they just so bad at speaking because they're not accustomed to speaking human? If so, we shouldn't make fun of them. It means they're bilingual. You can't make fun of bilingual people for being not as good at one language. What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. <laughs> Rocks. Rocks interesting. Oh, Bart the geologist. Uh, thanks for your help. So long. Mm. Long. 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 <laughs> He's having an epiphany. <laughs> Leave him alone. Okay, I guess we'll just go back to the extra and see what he's got to say about this. I don't know how much we're willing to tell him though, because we definitely don't want to say the part about Oh, I think Dandelion might be involved in this. Definitely not that part, right? Hey, who turned this off again? I turned it on earlier. Oh, we didn't get to loot the bodies and they're all gone now. That sucks. At least I'll loot the herbs. It's all the same one. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's clothing. I thought there was a corpse here. Can we come back and enjoy this place on our own time? I wonder. Hmm. Okay, now that we don't need the antidote anymore, can I put food in there again? Oh my god, I have so much. Just put some water here. Hopefully I'll need these herbs for something in the future. Because otherwise, why am I even collecting it? <laughs> um. Wow, there's not a single soul in here now. Didn't get to see this part earlier, but doesn't seem like there's... Oh, you can see the footprints! What the heck? What is that, mud? Ugh. And where we actually haven't walked here before, have we? Oh, hey, happen. <laughs> okay, you do you. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Not much. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very <laughs> fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Hate to agree with him, but he's right. This information is not that useful. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Hmm. No, let's let's believe in our own instincts a little bit. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, 
but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, <laughs> that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm, about as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. <laughs> oh, I missed you too. Are their guest logs that detailed? All right. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Okay. They would know which guest was in which pool? Nothing here. I would have thought that at maximum, they would just record who was in here, in this whole bathhouse. <laughs> they gotta repair the place, don't they? Uh... Looks kind of promising, but I can't really look at it for whatever. Oh, oh. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Didn't look at the other one yet. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault, has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. <laughs> but his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Yeah, you're not a spy, Geralt. Just trust him. That makes sense, too. People that get to hang around spies, they've got to be very loyal. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen! Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel? Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Oh. Old Coot's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel. Decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator. Think for once! They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Oh, I thought after hearing this initially, I was thinking that somebody used the guy's name to get in here. But if Happen saw him, hmm, an impersonator. Eh, it's not my place to tell him what to say to Happen. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home, derelict townhouse south of the main square. He might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Okay. Out of curiosity, Count Reuven's treasure, is this a main quest? Um, I can't really tell. Yes, it's a main quest. It's under this tab here. Oh, alright. 
Ooh, I guess that means we should go to the gangs of Novigrad first, to find Horasan and all. But, but, before any of that, can we play Gwen? <laughs> Extra! Got a minute? I do. What do you want? I want your Gwent cards. Ever play Gwent? I do. Gwent's like politics, just more honest. Care for a game against an old master? Old master, huh? Yeah, let's play. Better give me a good card. I feel so traumatized after the previous round that I don't even know what's gonna happen anymore. But I guess we're gonna use the Northern Realms, cause... The extra should be pretty good. Should be. Northern Realms, he's a true Redanian. Decoy, decoy, blue stripes, blue stripes, Crinfred, medic, death mold, trebuchet, ballista, ballista. Our numbers are not that high. Decoy, decoy could be useful, but we don't have any spies, so we would hope that Dijkstra has some spies. Let's take away... These ballistas. Trebuchet. Biting Frost? Okay. Hmm... No, maybe I should have taken away Death Mold. Yeah, just in case if we get a Commander's Horn, right? And then we could have used the, the Siege cards together. But I took away the frickin' Trebuchet already. Dang. Okay, Crinfred. Not a bad trade-off. Not really the kind of hand I'm looking for, though. To get through this. Okay, I have Biting Frost. Let's remember that. Hmm... Maybe I'll put down this. I do have a medic. Later on. Regis. Do I want to use it right now? Sure. Our goal is to get him to use as many cards as possible in the beginning here. He's using a little bit more than me. Um... We can decoy both of these back, if things don't work out. Oh! 15-12. Hmm... Do I want to give up? You know what, let's just decoy them back. Not really the best course of action for me though, because I'm still stuck with these numbers here. Yeah, keep spending your cards. Keep spending your cards. Zero. Fifteen to zero. Oh! He's not an idiot either. <laughs> okay. I will pass. He should pass as well. Six cards, seven cards. We don't really have a big advantage here, do we? And he gets an extra card for winning the round. That's not good. Oh my god, John Atalus. Not affected by anything. I don't even have anything to bring back with a medic. <laughs> That's really sad. Since you have something in this row, I'm gonna hope that you don't put down Biting Frost. Yup. My draw was kinda crappy today. I wonder if we can win. Esther Tyson! Like all Tyson men, he was tall, powerfully built, and criminally handsome. <laughs> 24 to 16, I guess I'll save Crinford for next time, so let's go with the Ballistas. A bit of a waste to use the Medic now, because we don't even have... Oh. Okay. Oh, I, I don't feel good about this. I don't think we'll have enough cards. We'll see. I can bring back one card with a medic. Oh, that's right. Extra card here. Good. Siege. A siege tower. Mmm. I can bring back a ballista, but let's hold off. You don't know what's gonna happen. He doesn't seem that strong though. Hoping he doesn't have any scorch cards or even doubles of catapults. 20? 20 to 8. 20 to 14. Siege. <laughs> I 
Yoshi. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to feel good about it, but seeing what happened last time, I'm... I have PTSD. <laughs> okay. Ballista. Come on. Oh, okay. Ooh. What? Oh, Dixra's pretty weak. My hand was pretty bad this time too, but we still beat him. Not bad. See you don't have Esther and Tyson in your deck. Here, he's yours. Thanks. Thank you. Know anyone else I could win some cards off of? Hmm. I know an elf you might try. Got an excellent card in his deck. You'll find him beyond the city walls, where the Squirtel stragglers have their shanty town. Oh, we haven't really seen Squirtel people around here anymore. No one cares about the Squirtel when the Nilfgaardians are invading. Esther Rat Tyson, a Northern Realms card. A 10, a hero. Wonderful. Oh, could I look at the cloth here? We didn't get to earlier. No, I guess I'm not gonna be able to. No. Maybe the cloth wasn't related anyway. Okay. That's cool. Well, now for me to get out of here. Uh, was there anything on this side? We haven't been here before, have we? Oh, it's just a bigger pool. Nice bathhouse. Maybe I can come back when it's in operation sometime? That time is not right now, though. In that case... Oh, how do I get out of here? Let me get out of here first. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, no. I want to get out of the whole thing. Here. 